are going to do crazy things tonight. I'm telling you, there's nothing like watching the start of a race at Daytona. It's unbelievable. Here they come to the green flag. It's Travis Quapple just in front of Jack Sprague. Who will be the winner to start off the 2007 season? If he can get a nose under him, I think he'll take advantage of it. Through the trial go. Two laps of racing to go. Now they go two wide as they come across the strike. One lap of racing to go. Two and a half miles from Daytona. Travis Quapple in front of the pack. Jack Sprague, Todd Bodine side by side now as they go to the bottom. Quapple with an extremely strong truck as he goes through four. As he comes out of turn number four, he will see the checkered flag. And Travis Quapple trying to hold oh, On behalf of all 21,000 Conway Freight employees, I want to welcome you to the race and let you know how much we appreciate you being with us here today. Conway Freight has a lot to celebrate this year. Most importantly, our 25th anniversary in the less than truckload industry. The success of Conway Freight has been a direct result of years of support from our loyal customers, as well as the hard work, dedication, and customer service provided by our seasoned, reliable, and responsive employees throughout North America. So to our employees, thank you for everything that you have done and will do to make Conway Freight the LTL industry leader. And of course, to our valued customers, thank you for placing your confidence in our company. We appreciate your business. Another thing we're excited to celebrate is the newest, certainly the fastest, and maybe the most visible Conway Freight driver. He has the potential to be the next racing superstar, and we're excited to sponsor him at the beginning of his promising career as he runs for the Rookie of the Year title in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. I'm proud to introduce you to the driver of the number six Conway Freight Ford F-150, Colin Brown. The dawn of the Conway racing season brings with it a new team a new truck and a rising star in American motorsports. It's a legend in the making where safety, integrity, commitment, and excellence come together to produce a champion. I was born into the sport, I guess you could say. My dad had been a race car engineer ever since the time I was a little kid. So I was really interested in what he was doing and, and you know, being a young boy, interested in fast cars. And I started racing quarter midgets when I was five years old, which were little midget cars that run on oval tracks. Go, 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 good job. When I was eight, started racing go-karts all over the world. I raced all over North America, I raced all over Japan, Italy, Monaco. Colin Brown developed his taste for success and winning attitude at a young age, picking up nine victories in kart racing competition by the age of 13. When you're a young kid and you're driving a fast car anyway, that's cool, but when you're winning races, that's even cooler. And that just drew me in. And then after that, it just kind of snowballed from there, and I couldn't help myself after that. Switching to cars at age 14, Colin built, race by race, one of the most impressive resumes ever for a young driver including experience racing formula cars, exotic sports cars, and stock cars. By 18, Colin had earned the distinction of being the youngest Rolex Daytona prototype driver. Colin Brown is flying. And here comes Colin Brown back. Whoa, almost drops two wheels off to the right. The youngest driver to win a Major League North American auto race. The checkers way for York Bergmeister. Colin Brown, Brown right, Racing. And the youngest driver to stand on the podium at the prestigious 24 Hours of Le Mans. Well, that was a pretty neat experience. It just has so much history and heritage behind it. Um, it was cool to go there and, and end up actually you know, finished on the podium and getting to walk out and spray the champagne and everything like that. It was pretty cool. Now this is a great battle for fifth place. Jimmy Johnson, Nextel Cup and Daytona 500 champion, trying to hold off 18-year-old Colin Braun. We're watching a superstar of the future, 18-year-old Colin Brown, who leads and leads well by almost four seconds. It was a very outstanding crop of rookies this year. Uh, it was a very tight race between Marco Andretti, Denny Hamlin, and Brian Clausen. However, one driver outpaced them all, and it gives me great pleasure to present the Racer Magazine Rookie of the Year Award to Colin Brown.
behind the wheel of that 61 right now. 18 years old, and this kid, just frankly, I think is amazing. He's really, really a talented young man. Doors are opening for him all over the racing community. Well, other big news to come out of Watkins Glen this weekend was the fact that young Colin Brown has signed a deal with Roush Fenway Racing. Back here, though, at Homestead Miami Speedway here in Victory Lane with the setup. I'm Chris Devota. We have Jack Roush, Roush Fenway Racing, and driver Colin Brown. And, Jack, you have a big announcement. Let's hear it. Yeah, we've got uh, Conway Freight folks for, with us here tonight. They're going to be the primary sponsor for our Ford F-150 number 6 uh, Craftsman truck. Colin's going to drive the truck. Uh, we can't wait to get started. Now, Colin begins a new chapter in his promising career, signing a long-term contract with Roush Fenway Racing and Ford Racing to drive the number six Conway Freight Ford F-150. He's not only well prepared to slide behind the wheel, he's ready to continue the legacy of the six truck. Well, for me, the opportunity to go and drive the, the, the six truck for Roush Fenway um, is fantastic. I may be a rookie running the truck series, but certainly I don't feel like it because I've got so many great people behind me from, the, from Roush Fenway and some big name drivers um, drive that truck before. So I'm looking forward to, to obviously driving that, following hopefully in the, in the footsteps of guys like Mark Martin and Travis Quaffle for sure. Though success has thrust Colin into the spotlight at an early age, he's never been far from his family. In fact, Chasing success has always been a family affair. My family has played a big role in what I've been doing um, just because of the fact that, that they've been always involved in my career ever since the time when I started racing. When we were racing quarter midgets and go-karts and, and you know those formula cars, it was just myself and my brother and my mom and dad and that was the entire team. You know, we'd work on our race car or go-karts back at the shop, drive to the racetrack, unload it, run it, race it, you know, come back home, work on it again and do that every week. For me, I think that's the biggest thing that I've really learned from them. It's just when I'm going to go do something that I need to give 110%. As the newest driver in the Conway organization, Colin is determined to make his new family proud. For me to have Conway as my first real sponsor is, is a pretty cool deal. They have 21,000 plus employees, so to have all those people be part of the team um, and, and to have all the people at Rosh Fenway be part of the Conway Freight team um, is a pretty cool experience for me. Conway Freight wants to go out there and win in business, and we want to go out there and win in what we're doing as well. You know, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right. And, you know, I think that's the same values that the people at Conway Freight have and the same at Roush Fenway. Let's check out who was out on the racetrack first, and it was Colin Brown was first out and second fastest in the morning. Yeah, a lot of promise here. This is the truck that Travis Popple ran last year. He had such a great season. Teenager here, a lot of promise. Roush thinks this is the next guy right here. I just want to go out there and, uh, and win races for Roush Fenway and for Conway Freight. Get a run on you. 